Well, new reporting today that Governor Hochul could be about to unpause congestion pricing. The New York Post saying the governor could be planning to bring back the toll after this fall's election. At a lower price. Fox Eyes Linda Schmidt has more. According to the New York Post, Governor Hochul is considering a lower congestion pricing toll for Manhattan and giving an exemption to municipal workers. But there are plenty of people who are not on board. Exempting government workers? Give me a break. Handing out special interest privileges to public officials makes people distrust government. The more people that are exempted, the more that everyone else has to pay. Governor Hochul paused congestion pricing in June, just as it was supposed to go into effect. She continues to say it was because inflation is hitting New Yorkers hard and adding another $15 toll to drive below 60th Street could be crippling for some. But many others say the governor put the brakes on congestion pricing because Republicans would use it as a campaign issue and possibly jeopardize Democrats who are running for election in November. Sam Schwartz, known as Gridlock Sam, is a transportation expert. I was a government worker for 20 years. Why should I, or for that matter, any government worker, get a break when the bodega owner doesn't get the break, when the construction worker doesn't get the break. The governor's office is not confirming that she is considering a lower toll and exempting government workers. Instead, her office issued this statement saying in part, Governor Hochul believes a $15 daily toll is just too much for working people trying to get by in today's economy. That's why she is exploring multiple options with legislative leaders. New York City employs over 300 thousand workers so to unilaterally give carve outs to that many people it would gut the program governor hochul has described the pause as being indefinite new yorkers will eventually learn how long indefinite is linda schmidt fox 5 news